architraves and skirting are architectural elements commonly used in the construction and finishing of buildings, particularly in interior design. Architraves are decorative moldings or trim that are installed around doorways, windows, or other openings in walls. They serve both aesthetic and functional purposes. Architrave conceals the joint and any shrinkage or movement that may occur between the wall and the casing within the door surround. A typical architrave consists of three parts, the baseboard or dado, the main molding or frieze, and the cornice or crown molding. Architraves can be made from various materials such as wood, MDF, medium-density fiberboard, aluminium, or plaster. They are used to enhance the appearance of openings, provide a transition between the wall and the opening, and hide any gaps or rough edges. Skirting, also known as baseboards or base moldings, is a protective and decorative element installed along the bottom of interior walls where they meet the floor. Skirting board is designed to be fitted around the perimeter of a room, fixed to the wall where it meets the floor. Skirting serves multiple purposes, including protecting the wall from kicks, abrasions, and furniture damage, as well as providing a visual transition between the wall and floor. Skirting boards can be made from materials like wood, PVC, polyvinyl chloride, aluminium, or MDF. They come in various styles and sizes to match different interior design aesthetics. Both architraves and skirting play important roles in enhancing the overall appearance and finishing of a room or building. Architrave is generally much thinner than skirting board and is fitted around doors where the most likely wooden door frame meets the plaster. Both architraves and skirting add decorative elements, provide a cohesive look, and help protect the walls and openings from wear and tear. In general, Skirting board is designed to be fitted around the perimeter of a room, fixed to the wall where it meets the floor. Architrave, however, is generally much thinner than skirting board and is fitted around doors where the most likely wooden door frame meets the plaster. The similarities between skirting boards and architrave. Essentially, though, architrave and skirting board are the same product, just manufactured to different sizes. For example, if you were to order a torus skirting board at 70mm high and a torus architrave at 70mm wide, they would be exactly the same assuming they were from the same supplier and the same profile. Sometimes people expect that because a skirting board is generally larger than an architrave that the profile design part of the skirting board will be proportionally larger than the profile on architrave. This is not the case for nearly all skirting board suppliers, including skirting for you, although there may be exceptions out there. The reason is that the designs are created using set tooling which cannot be altered in size. So regardless whether a skirting board or architrave is being manufactured with that tooling, the profile molding would be identical. Matching skirting boards with architrave. So, in short there are no major differences between architrave and skirting boards except the end finish. This is great as in most cases, you can match your skirting board and architrave to achieve a complete look that's cohesive. There are a wide range of architrave for you to choose from, ranging from both traditional and modern designs.